Good morning guys, Humano IT here. I hope you're doing well. Today I just want to make a video about the Powerball Alienware X17 R2 speakers. This topic has been discussed so many times and people still believe that the speakers of this device are good when they are actually very bad. Today I will try to solve this problem slash issue by installing insulating foam underneath the speakers. Before starting this project, I would like to record the standard speakers, how they sound, how they perform, and I will record this video with the Rode VideoMic MEL. This is by far the best sound quality you can get out of a phone. So to make everything as standardized as possible, I have centered the mic in between both speakers. This is the right speaker and this is the left speaker and the microphone is just in between. So I set the microphone at a height of about 117 to 118 centimeters. It's directly pointing at the device with a listening distance of about 40 centimeter so that's just a neutral listening position so and now i will switch to the iphone and i will record this music video with the rode video mic mel so i'm now recording with the iphone 11 pro max with the rode video mic mel the speakers are at 100 percent volume let's go <laughs> music video Eyes in the sky gazing far into the night I raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby the light shining through if you believe it Let's try the third song, just to have a little bit of variety. So I will try playing a song now with vocals so you guys can see and hear how bad the voice quality of these speakers are. Let's go!
that's enough for the Alienware X7 Gen 2. Let's now go over to the MacBook Pro S1707 just to see the differences between both devices. So anyone under the sun knows that MacBook Pros have the best speakers in the game. So this video is just to clarify how bad the speakers on the Alienware X17 R2 are. Okay, let's now switch over to the MacBook Pro. Welcome back guys. Now the speaker test of the MacBook Pro A1707. Let's go. That's the second song, let's go. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. That's it guys, the MacBook Pro speakers are just on another level compared to the Alienware X17 R2 speakers. They are just much much better, there is no discussion. It's louder, it's much clearer. Let's now go to the tutorial. 
Welcome back, my lovely viewers. Today we are trying to fix the speakers of the Alienware X7R2. We will do so by installing some insulating foam underneath the speakers to reduce the vibration between the speakers and the chassis. Let's bottom case. Get this out of the way. Good. We actually don't need to disassemble the battery, but I will do this nonetheless since I feel like I will have more space by not having the battery in the way. So, out the battery. Now we can start working. So, actually underneath the battery is already insulating foam, as you can see here. Now we want to do the same underneath the speakers. Here is nothing. And neither is here. Wait, let me just unplug the speakers. Neither is here. Underneath the speakers is already something that looks like foam, but actually it's just so thin that it doesn't do anything. What we want to do is to minimize the vibration that occurs between the chassis and the speakers itself. Because once the speakers work, they produce vibrations and this vibration goes then through the chassis and reflects to the sound, which is something that we don't want. So in order to reduce that, we are going to actually use these pads. These pads are used underneath chairs or furniture to reduce vibrations. And this is exactly what we will install here and here. If we take a caliper, we can actually measure the thickness, a shy one millimeter. This will be okay. I actually recommend to put them underneath the speakers because the speakers are actually the ones who create the vibration. I initially wanted to install this pad actually, but I realized that it's too thick. And because it's too thick, then at the end you will not fit the bottom cover properly because then the speakers will bolt. I believe we will be fine by installing those little round pads and I actually believe that these are better since the material is a little bit different. Don't try to overlap them because otherwise they will get too thick and then you will have difficulties to put on the back cover. So we have two, four, six, eight, nine. Let's put the last one just here. So let's see how this looks like them here it's wiggling much less than before but it's still wiggling let's install the pads on the other one oh I actually prefer doing this with my bare hands it's not as fiddly as with the tweezers This is actually looking much better than the other one. I don't know why. But let's see the end result. Two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten as the other one. Okay, let's install this here. This feels pretty good, this one. Let's take a look at the grommets. Okay. Let's take the cable and route it here properly. 
I will show you then how it should be routed because there is a specific way. Let's do the same here. So I will show you now how to route the cable. You actually don't want the cable to be here inside because this is where the bottom cover goes on top. And if we can wiggle this here around and it doesn't move as much as before the installation of the pads i hope this solution will work this is how you route the cable okay see it doesn't move as much as before I hope this will fix the problem. So let's reassemble everything and let's do a sound test. So now let me set up the tripods as before and let's do the test again. See you then. Welcome back guys. This is the sound test after optimizing the Alienware X17R2 speakers with insulating foam. The Distance and height and position of the mic is the same as before. So let us switch over to the iPhone and continue with this test. See you there.